The Walt Disney World Swan and Dolphin Resort in Orlando, Florida. It's the Q. Covering Splunk.com 2016. Brought to you by Splunk. Now, here are your hosts, John Furrier and John Walls. Hey, welcome back, everyone. We are live in Orlando, Florida for the Cube Silicon Angles flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. We're here at Splunk.com. I'm John Furrier. I'm my co-host, John Walls. Well, oh, John, good, good to see you. Good to be here at, at Splunk. We're joined by uh, Tom Gerhard, who is a technical fellow at uh, Priceline, who is new to the Splunk family. We'll get into that in just a little bit. But Tom, thanks for joining us. Good to see you. Thank you. It's great to be here. All right, 16 years strong now. You're going to Priceline. A lot of transformation over that period of time. So before we jump into data whenever, just tell us, walk us through what you've seen, the good, the bad, the ugly at Priceline and where you are now, again, from the data standpoint. Priceline's been an exciting company the whole time. Uh, we were a leader in the online travel space, an innovator there with the name your own price model. Uh, we adopted retail transparent pricing products uh, a few years after we launched. And that's become the name say. Um, Priceline.com has grown into the Priceline Group, which now has uh, businesses worldwide, Booking.com, Agoda.com, OpenTable, RentalCars.com, and Kayak, all familiar brand names to people in different parts of the world. Uh, so it's been exciting to be part of that, part of that journey. Right, so so uh, you were just telling us before we went on the air, Last Thursday, you officially joined the Splunk family, if you will. What, what led to that? What were your considerations? What are you turning to them for? And, uh, and what do you hope to get out of that relationship? Well, since we turned our first server on in uh, 1997 or 98, uh, we've accrued a number of different logging platforms, monitoring platforms, alerting systems, and we realized that We'd gotten to a point where we had all this data in fractured silos and couldn't really see a holistic picture of what was going on in the operation. Uh, we felt pretty good about our operational processes. Things run pretty smoothly. We're highly available. All of that looks great. But our um, time to detect problems and time to repair weren't quite where we wanted them. We wanted to go from, from good to great. And we thought we needed to up our game on the whole monitoring and um, monitoring, alerting, and analysis. Um, we also felt like there was a lot of opportunity we were leaving on the table uh, looking at business transactions alongside of operational data. So Tom, talk about, I mean, first of all, Priceline is one of those success stories, came out of the dot-com, and then the bubble burst. We all know that history for the young folks. Millennials were probably still in grade school during that time. We still have the scar tissue to, to prove it, but you guys were riding the wave of the web scale generation, and really what, what, I'm, what I'm pointing out here is that as you got on that dot-com, internet 1.0, boom, you guys rode that wave of scale at a massive level. So it's kind of like changing the engine out of the airplane and cruising at 35,000 feet. Take us through how, what, how hard that problem is, because it's not trivial to just swap out monitoring. And also at the same time, you're adding more services. You went global, and now you have all kinds of inbound APIs. You have some sort of services oriented kind of architecture. Lay out the problem statement of as you're growing, because this is a problem that enterprises have today, is that they can't just rip and replace, land their business and start all over again. They got to take what they have and, and bring in a new, fresh perspective. Um, yeah, so just to uh, scope the discussion, um, I'm part of the Priceline.com brand within the Priceline group, so we'll be talking today about what's happening in some of the other brands at Priceline. Uh, but you're right, we've been changing the engine and uh, changing the chassis uh, over the entire life of the company. Uh, our technical stack today uh, bears no resemblance to what we launched with. Uh, so things have been changing and evolving over the years. Uh, some nice things have happened out of that. We've actually, a lot of our logging data today goes through Kafka. So it's delivered into our existing platforms through Kafka. So when we started a Splunk, a Splunk proof of concept a few months ago, it was actually very easy for us to tap a feed from Kafka and deliver it into Splunk and start to explore it with real data. And in fact, uh, when the Splunk sales team came in, 
At the beginning of our proof of concept, we were actually ingesting data the first day they were on site. And, so you're uh, up and running quickly, just plug it in. Yeah. Pretty much ingest Plugged it in without and we, disrupting. Was there a disruption? It was just seamless. No disruption to any of the existing platforms. So we were able to go ahead and do that and start to explore what Splunk could do for us. Uh, we had looked at a couple different open stack, open source stacks, and uh, including some that we were already using. Uh, and, and we decided at the end that we'd give Splunk a try. What impact do you hope that this has for you guys? What's, uh, what's, the, what's the other side of the, uh, the, um, of the end zone here when you cross the finish line or get into the end zone with Splunk? Obviously, getting it up and running, getting at the data, exploring it. What's the outcome that you guys are looking for? Well, the outcome for any company should be revenue. <laughs> and uh, you know, we think that by improving our time to detect problems, our time to repair when problems do occur, that we'll be reducing outage time. Uh, outages are always money. Our store is open 24/7, and um, so you know there is, there is no acceptable downtime in, in our business. But beyond that, we think we're going to make life better for people that are supporting our systems. Um, when things go wrong, we should be able to get to the root cause faster and um, and and more. So what products, are you, what products are you buying from Splunk? So what products, do you mind sharing so, the minutes Sure, we're share. launching. We're launching with uh, on-premises uh, enterprise. Uh, we'll be implementing ITSI and the security, uh, enterprise security. I, I love it, I, ITSI. I mean, it takes the IT service management concept to a whole nother level. Uh, what kind of intelligence are you guys looking for out of Splunk? I mean, you, we, you know, that's. I mean, everyone's talking about machine learning, AI. You want some intelligence, so what do you hope the work will be doing for you? What is what are some of the things specifically that you hope that will come out of the uh, the intelligence piece of the software? Well, as you can imagine, our, our operation is fairly complex. We deal with suppliers, uh, travel suppliers, uh, thousands of hotels, uh, dozens, probably hundreds of airlines, uh, dozens of rental car companies. So we have a lot of inputs that are external and to the customer experience on our website. And in between those two ends, there's a lot going on. And um, the relationships aren't always clear because they're complicated. So we're hoping we can use ITSI to surface some of that complexity and, uh, and simplify it and start to see, rather than monitoring individual components, that we can be really monitoring our system as a whole. So is security a primary or kind of a secondary benefit off the ITSI? Um, I'd say almost equal. Um, we actually had a separate initiative. Our security team was interested in Splunk. Uh, <laughs> Kill two birds with one stone here, right? Yeah, yeah, and it really turned into that. Yeah, you, and, so you got the Priceline.com shirt on, but you talked about Priceline Group. So how big of a deployment are we talking about here in terms of where Splunk's reaching into your organization? Is it like across the board? And, and then also, what kind of data are we talking about in terms of volume? in terms of increases that you've seen maybe over the last two, three years that have caused you to, you know, your eyes to roll a little bit and find a better way to corral it. So within the Priceline.com brand, uh, we're looking at it ingesting uh, several terabytes a day. Uh, we haven't nailed down exactly where <laughs> that will land. Uh, we thought we did some pretty good estimating before we did our purchase. Uh, the line that's formed outside of my door since we actually signed the contract is um, um, worrying me a little bit. In what, in what way? Like people just saying, hey, I want more? Or? Everybody wants to get their application on Splunk and they want it yesterday. Yeah. Uh, so you're like the mayor of Priceline.com, you know. Man, take, a, take a ticket, wait in line. <laughs> yeah, and you know, one of our big challenges right now is to figure out how we can keep that line moving as quickly as possible. So people are jazzed up. I mean, people yeah. see this and they're pretty pumped up. We've got our security team. Uh, several of them are actually here. Uh, our network team, they're excited. Uh, application teams, our business analytics folks, uh, everybody's really interested in getting on Splunk. And it's across the board. I mean, so you're talking about multiple brands here, right? Not just, just well, you know, dot com. Within, within Priceline.com. Within Priceline, right, yeah. right, right, right. I mean, our multiple yeah, but, but uh, organizations. Our, product, our will, different right. product lines, rental cars, airlines, hotels. And you just flip that big switch. I mean, what kind of headache is that, that um, uh, to, to enforce that kind of a massive transformation, big change? 
Yeah, so um, Thursday we turned on our first production feed. We actually started delivering some alerts to our knock from that feed uh, the next day. And you know, so as they're getting comfortable with Splunk as one of their inputs and looking forward to it being one of a much smaller number of inputs, um, you know, we're, we're learning our way into it right now. And you know, one of the things we're, we're grappling with is how will we do workshops and training sessions to bring all of the application developers and so forth onto the platform. Uh, some of the things announced this morning in 6.5 look like that will get easier for us. So looking forward to uh, how quickly we can pull that switch as well. Tom, I want you to take a minute to end the segment. And we have a loudspeaker going on, you gotta turn on the volume. Take a minute to share with the folks watching, um, you know, what you've learned and, and, and with Splunk and, and, and what they could do and how they potentially could utilize it and how it's changed Priceline.com. Um, I think how it's changed right now is, is yet to be seen. I think it has created a lot of unification across all of those teams that I mentioned. Um, some of the things we've learned, uh, we've been having what I call micro outages. Small issues, and they come and go over short periods of time that were below the radar on our existing monitoring. They may be very small impacts on the business, but collectively over time, those things add up. And, uh, I think that's one of the things we're also looking most forward to is, is not just getting better at the things we've already known about, but actually learning how to take it to another level. Tom, thanks so much for sharing your story. Priceline.com, congratulations on your success. Lines forming outside your door. <laughs> you're super popular, you're trending inside the company, as we would say. Congratulations. Thank you. Great to hear the story. Splunk, another happy customer. I love coming to this conference. A lot of great stories, and certainly this is the disruptive enabler, getting at the data, seamless integration, and ingesting and putting the data to work. It's theCUBE, bringing you the data.